So I thought I'd do a quick video on this new AI tool I found, Chat PDF. Basically, what it's saying, and I haven't used it yet, is um, it encourages us to chat with our PDF. I'm assuming type. I don't think I can actually speak to it. Um, but this is the interface. You go to chatpdf.com, and it explains what this is. Apparently, uh, you know, PDFs are notoriously hard to search because of the nature of the text and how it's displayed. Um, so if you can think about any contract, I'm going to load up a standard master services agreement here in a minute, and uh, which are notoriously full of legal ease and let's just say non-business friendly language. Although if you're signing an MSA, you've got to be very, very wise about what the obligations of the provider and the, and the parties are. So let's just jump right to it here. I'm going to uh, click on drop my PDF. I've got my... It's 21 page MSA. Let's see how long it takes to analyze. My guess is it's going to summarize basically what this is. And then some type of some type of interface is going to allow me to interact with it. OK, here we go. So you can see the four dots. Hello and welcome to the master service agreement between provider and law firm X. I took out the actual law firm here. This was from an actual global law firm to keep it anonymous. All right, so here are some examples. What are three example questions? What types of services are included? Well, all right, I guess I can just click on this. Let's see what that says. Okay, well, if anyone knows, an MSA usually needs an SOW, a statement of work that is going to be very um, specific. So this really wasn't all that helpful. It just is going to say you got to look for the statement of work. Um, how long will this be in effect for the agreement? Next, I'm going to just kind of ask it. Um, all right, so it's 36 months. Um, all right, I'm going to say uh, th this law firm is a global law firm, so they got data privacy um, challenges for the parties uh, that it contracts with. I remember when we were working with this law firm, uh, we were only doing United States uh, work with them, but because they're a global law firm, they had to put us through the ringer for data compliance. So I'm just going to ask um, what data obligations and restrictions are there for the provider? Uh, what this is going to do? Let's see. I'm imagining I'm a business person and I'm just getting this to review and thinking of all these sort of hot topics. I don't know. I'm going to say, are these all the privacy concerns are these all the data and privacy issues mentioned in the document i have no idea if it's going to be able to handle that question uh, let's see no there are other sections of the document that mention however the sections i provide are some of the most relevant ones okay I, if we assume the ai can tell us what's the most relevant ones or not at least it's saying yeah there's a bunch of other things in there, but I've highlighted these. Um, let me ask this. Uh, how can I terminate? How can I terminate? Now, I don't know if it knows who I am. So let's see how smart it is. It, I say, how can I terminate? Does it know if I'm the provider or if I'm the client here? This contract. And I'll call it a contract. Let's see what it says. May term so the law firm may terminate this. Interesting. All right, um, I'm going to ask uh, a typical sort of question and say, what other questions should the provider be concerned about asking? Let's see, because uh, I can't really think right now on the spot and I've only got 50 seconds left. So the provider will ask about the scope of services, the payment terms, warranties. Interesting. All right. Well, I, I think for a non-lawyer, I hate using that word, uh, but for someone on the fly who wants to understand the contours of a PDS-based contract or a draft agreement, this looks really interesting. Um, didn't take that long. So I don't know. I welcome your thoughts on, on other use cases for chat PDF.